Hey guys, it's Strawberry Ella here and today is going to be a short quick little video in honor of a really special dessert I'm going to have tonight. It's going to be chocolate pudding. Yeah, you heard me right, chocolate pudding. And it's actually a fruit I'm going to try tonight. And the fruit I'm talking about is the black sapote or also called chocolate pudding fruit. When it's unripe, it's really hard and green and it's really light. When it ripens up, it gets heavier and really wrinkly and it's related to the persimmon as you can see. It looks similar to it. I picked that up from the organic mango farm we're volunteering at. Like It was really hard and green for a few days and then from one day to another, it ripened up so quickly and it looked like that. So I'm really excited to try it. It's gonna be a little bit moldy probably or like fermented on the top because it didn't ripen up that probably but sometimes that happened with organic fruit and that's okay so i'm gonna cut this baby open i'm gonna try it for the first time and i'm i'm really excited to try it it doesn't have a smell or anything let's cut it open So I cut it open and that is how it looks like. It looks insane, like it looks exactly like chocolate pudding. It's like if someone just poured chocolate pudding into this fruit, like how is this possible? But I'm gonna try the bottom half because as I said, the, the, the top half maybe is not as good. So it's really thick and dense as you can see that. doesn't really have that much of a taste, but the texture is insane. Oh my god. I can't imagine blending this with dates, for example, because it's not that sweet. Maybe it's not that of a good one, but the texture is like chocolate pudding. Evan is gonna have a taste as well, because he tried that fruit before, and I don't know if it's gonna, if it tastes like that, if it should taste like that. The texture is insane. It's like really thick and like real chocolate pudding it looks like chocolate pudding but yeah it's, it's good it just isn't that sweet and yeah i've had a few sweeter ones but i think it's more about the the texture the yeah texture and consistency wow yeah. yeah it's like you can't really stop eating because it is as if you eat chocolate pudding it's crazy how thick it is and mm. As I said, it's related to the persimmon. So it's probably like more like a winter fruit and it's really dense, really filling probably, but the texture is insane and I'm all about the texture sometimes. Even though it's lacking a little bit of taste, but I'm sure like, I feel like if you blend that with dates, that would be like an insanely good dessert. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that short little video. Let me know if you ever tried a black sapote before and I'm really excited to try more and different fruits here. For example, like mame sapote I haven't tried yet. Yeah, a lot of different fruits to try. I'm really excited. I'm a fruit snob, so yeah. Yeah, subscribe to see more daily videos from me. Follow me on all my social media platforms. I'm going to link them down below. I'm running low on battery, so I'm going to cut that short. And I'll see you tomorrow in my next video, guys. Bye. I'm going to New York. Oh my God.